Welcome to another video by DJ SpearC. We have Project Cherokee here, and time to install a servo to be able to turn these wheels here. But before we continue, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies, www.greathobbies.com. Check out their website, it's awesome. We have with us the Power HD. Great little company. Uh, they make big torque. And seriously, it's a little bit better servos from other ones. Uh, this guy here is a 25 milligram, or not milligram, but uh, something. <laughs> uh, at 6 volts, it's 319 ounces of torque. At 7.4, uh, she is 347.2. Not sure if the camera is gonna try to focus here. Come on. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna want to. Yeah. There she goes a bit here. But I will put a link uh, in the description about it. Let's open the box and see what the servo looks like. It is a steel can. I'll give you a set of stickers, Power HD, and physical digital servo manual and the warranty card. There we have a complete blue. And the reason it's blue, it is because it's waterproof. Give you a very long lead. I think this is close to a foot. And it's all aluminum casing. Bottom part, middle part, even the top part. I have Savox servos that are waterproof. And it's just the middle that's uh, aluminum. The bottom and top is plastic. And this guy here... Construction wise, feels solid. I like. And in the box, they give you some normal screws to be able to mount them. And they do give you an aluminum horn. That's awesome. Here's the screw for the horn. Put that aside. Let's put this back in the box. Put this aside. Let's install our servo in. In Project Cherokee here, the servo goes right here. It mounts just like that. Grab our servo screws. Now, if you're not sure, just look in your manual it will tell you which one it is. There. there we go. I'm just gonna put two. That way I don't bore you guys with Seeing me screwing screws. <clears throat> now they do supply you with physical kit ways to be able to route your wires to be able to hold them there's a couple of ways you can bring them around and then bring them to your receiver box here uh, I'm going to do it another way because there is more stuff coming to this guy here now there's one thing I completely forgot about this kit 
Now, if I want to put the horn on it, I can't because I have the pan hard in my way. Even if I wanted to go here and then screw it down, it's kind of hard. I'm not sure if you guys can see it here, but the physical pan hard is in my way to be able to do it. I completely forgot about that. Now we need to remove the servo again. And put a horn in it. And before we're going to put the horn on, we need to make sure that the servo is aligned. Now I do have a servo tester in the toolbox somewhere. There we go. Basically a servo tester, what it does, you're able to control your servo. Uh, white lines your ground. Or is it? There we go. We want to put the servo to neutral. Let's say we put this guy on and we go neutral. It places itself to zero. Now we're going to put the horn. I think my battery's dead. I'm not even sure if I have another one. Yep. Basically what it does places this guy to zero. I know this is zero on it. Now we're gonna take our screw. Lock the horn in. And what I love about the APAR HD, it is a lockable horn both ways. Basically, screws on top, screws on the side to make sure to clamp on the horn itself. Let's pop this guy back in. Make sure everything's aligned. Turn it around. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it, but the, our horn's right here. We're gonna bring our linkage to it. Now our servo Now the servo controls the physical steering. Now if you guys have any comments or questions post down below, I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you did like this video, hit the thumbs up in the corner here. Appreciate that. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, there's a bell icon notification that uh, if you hit that, it will notify you next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching.